So I've tried recording a video today several times, and over the course I've gone over several topics. In the interest of transparency, I'm going to touch on something very personal today. It's not directly traumatic, it is simply my current mental state and the ways I am dealing. That still might be too much for some people to handle. Now, as I've mentioned before, my symptoms are incredibly mild. Please do bear that in mind before you just cut and run. But if you are concerned at all, or you just don't feel you're in the right headspace to hear about this, then I certainly implore you to stop watching now and come back tomorrow. Hello everyone, my name of course is Artemage, and welcome to day 26 of Vita. First thing to touch on is, it's my mother's birthday! Happy birthday mom, turning 29 for the first time as far as anyone's concerned, and a toast to you. Now late yesterday, I think sometime after recording yesterday's Vita video, I came to the realization that I'm currently in the midst of a downswing with my condition. As a reminder, I experience type 2 bipolar disorder, which is rapid cycling, which apparently is uh, often considered one of the worst. As I've also mentioned, my symptoms are rather mild. That doesn't mean they don't affect me, that just means that I'm a lot better off than a lot of people could be, and I'm grateful for that. But it still does have quite the effects on my life. Looking back on it, I realized that I was having quite the experience with it on Monday. Uh, just things were frustrating me endlessly. Uh, I came home and felt I couldn't get work done as uh, my roommate was in my workspace, which is a gaming computer as well as a work computer, so she was playing one of her games. And I have no problem with my computer being used by other people for the most part. It just felt I was already on a tight schedule and wanted to be to bed way earlier than I was, and I had wretched insomnia that night. I don't know if the insomnia was related. I've had insomnia before I was uh, experiencing symptoms of bipolar disorder, so I can't say for certain if that is connected. Usually it accompanies a high as opposed to a low, and I am experiencing a low. Now, in addition to coming home and just finding that I don't know when I'm going to get the chance to work, uh, I had to make a trip out to Walmart to get some dog food and some other minor supplies, and just the entire endeavor was an exercise in patience. The patrons of the bus were infuriating, to put it politely. People holding up the bus at, the, at various stops, people not knowing the stops they wanted, not bothering to ask anyone. Somebody actually rang the bell on three consecutive stops and then didn't do it again until we got to the Walmart closet. And I was cranky, to say the least. I don't know if it was he kept expecting that his stop was coming up. And I think he was trying to connect to uh, the Mohawk, which comes around to both Kenilworth and Ottawa, for anyone who's familiar with the Hamilton area. And sometimes it comes to Kenilworth first, sometimes it comes to Ottawa first. It's often a crapshoot if you're not paying attention to a live feed schedule. So I think maybe it might have been an out-of-towner who just wasn't too aware of where the bus was actually going to stop when it was stopping. And didn't pay attention right away to which stop was the one the bus would come to first. Either way, it didn't help matters for my state of mind. Then I got into the Walmart, and for a Monday, it was packed. I usually find that if you're doing things like grocery shopping, the earlier in the week you do it, the less number of people you experience in the store. And that's certainly how the Walmart was set up, because a lot of their cashier stations were closed. So I've been catching myself the past few days since then, just finding myself irritated at the most ridiculous of things. Somebody asked me to clarify myself on an expression that I felt was incredibly obvious, and my rewording wasn't really any different when I said it, and even that little bit nearly had me tear into the person. And I feel wretched when I when I express myself like that. It's not the person's fault I feel this way, and oftentimes they don't know that I do. I know in this case that they didn't. But I still nearly had a moment where I snapped. Now, so far, this low is... I'm not sure how to put it, but... 
it's not terrible is probably the closest I can come to something that serves as an accurate statement. I'm irritable, but I'm not full on depressed like I was the last time around. Last time it took everything I had to simply endure it, and it actually cost me my relationship at the time. This time, it's more just, I need to maintain awareness of my responses to situations and ensure I'm using an appropriate tone and reaction. For anyone who's going through a similar experience where their mood stability is an issue or they are just in an incredibly unproductive down period of their depression or anxiety, just keep trying. It's really all we can do. And know that, as I've said before, there are people out there who want to help you. So with that in mind, I just want to remind everyone to keep trying, take care of yourselves and each other, and I will talk to you tomorrow.